Hey guys, so my name is Travis, aka Ace, the singing wonder. I'm just kidding. I'm not a singing wonder. <laughs> I am a singer, but I'm not a singing wonder. I'm just a singer. Um, but I'm here on behalf of Funky Lemon Casting Agency today to answer a couple questions just to help give you guys a little bit of information, tell you a little bit more about Funky Lemon Casting Agency while the lockdown is in place. So I'm going to get straight into it. I'm not going to try and um, sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to try and make it weird or too long. I'm just going to get straight into the questions. And uh, if you guys have anything you want to ask or anything you want to say, um, just drop in the comment section below. Um, let us know. We'll answer. If not me, probably the agency will answer. Um, they will hopefully tag me because that'd be awesome. Um, and yeah, so let's get straight into it. Question number one. I've got five questions today. So the first one, tell us more about yourself. It's such a vague question. You know, as an artist, you get so tired of, of answering this question. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You don't get tired of answering this question. Um, tell us more about yourself. I am, firstly, I'm a dad. I got I got two stepkids and a son, a biological son. So I got three kids, um, a daughter who will be 14 in November, a son who's going to be nine in May, and then a baby boy who just turned two in January. So there's that. Uh, but also, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, performer, apparently a comedian. Uh, I've never tried, so I don't know. Um, but I guess you know, there's 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 always. It's always time to try new things, which I think is important. So yeah, uh, I love books. I love reading books. I like things that have some sort of uh, educational aspect to them. So I like reading things like fictional histo historical fictional novels, things like Percy Jackson. It's very naive, but it's got a lot of information in it about uh, Greek Roman mythology. Uh, flippin' informative, lots of information, and probably a very interesting read for even people who don't have children or if you're in like your mid 20s it's still very interesting to read if you like that kind of stuff so i like books but i like movies tv series i'm in love with music i'm a massive sports fan i support manchester united i'm a red devil but i love football first um so there's that um yeah so that's a little bit about myself man uh question number two what are your thoughts on the south african film industry I have a lot of thoughts on the SA film industry. I think it's really beautiful. Firstly, I think it's really cool um, that we have such a, a booming film industry in South Africa. A lot of countries don't have access to maybe the facilities or the resources that we do, especially in Africa. Uh, we are probably the most developed and advanced country in Africa in certain ways and then the least developed in others, but that's, that's different. I think our film industry is probably the strongest. Also, we have such great scenery in South Africa, so much untouched sort of locations that we could use for film industry work that it's it's always beautiful to see what comes out of a project when you're done with it. Um, so there's that. I think the South African film industry also has a lot of growth to do. I think it's, it's still growing. I think a, a lot of the time it's a funding problem or something like that. But also, I think just in general, a lot of the ideas are pretty much all the same. Um, nobody is really coming up with something new and different. It's kind of stemming from something else. Uh, there's nothing really originally South African that you can say uh, is attention grabbing. Um, so I think that is something that the industry in South Africa really needs. Um, but other than that, I love the South African film industry. I think it's really growing. It's really booming. And there's a lot of opportunity to, to get South African artists, actors, stuntmen, uh, background extras, you know, involved and, and maybe even, you know, going overseas and, and expanding their horizons in terms of acting and being in films or productions. Um, question number three. Discuss... <laughs> Imagine that was a line on a script. <laughs> um, cut, cut, and question number three, take two, action. Yeah, right, cool. Describe what happens on a typical day on set. I don't think there is a typical day on set. I'm not gonna lie to you, there really isn't a typical day on set. The only thing that's typical really is maybe the structure in how things happen, like how things progress throughout the day. So. You'd get there in the morning, you'd sign in, you'd have breakfast, you'd go to wardrobe, check your hair and makeup if you need to. Um, and then you'd go and you'd shoot and then there's snacks and stuff in between. And then 
there's lunch and then you shoot some more and then you sign out at the end of the day and you go home. I mean, that's basically a typical day. But in terms of, of the production itself, sometimes things go awry, like you can't do something, you're running out of time, the director's not getting the shot that he wants. So it, it kind of all depends on what's happening on the day, uh, how the day goes. There's never really a typical day because the people are always different. The production is always different. Um, you know, sometimes even just being in Cape Town as a, as, a, as a Cape Townian artist, sometimes the weather just doesn't play its part <laughs> and you can't do certain things you need to do on set on that day. So there's not really a typical day, but I think just the structure of how things should progress throughout the day kind of is static and, and stagnant. I think that you can kind of say is uniform for, for a typical day on set. Um, question number four, do you have any hidden talents? Yeah, bro, I've got lots of hidden talents. I do accents. I can talk like an Indian or from Durban, but I can also talk like a, a, a super from, from a, the place that side, you know, uh, from 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 Debbie. I can talk like 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 Sipo, and uh, I can talk like uh, maybe a Kurt or, or or a Dean, or even yeah, I can talk like Johannes, even if I'm from the farm in Fergie, yeah. And I, I I can talk like a Khaled. I can talk like um what what is what is it? Baraj name? It Baraj the the on the corner. That Baraj is always on the Ukiman. Since I and then I could probably talk like a Durban now. I talk like a Durban now too. But I've got a lot of accents from overseas, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm British, a little bit of British, yeah. And then oh, I could do a little bit of Aussie and uh, maybe a little bit of New Zealand if I really tried really hard. It's difficult, but, uh, you know, with a little bit of practice and getting into character, you can do it. Um, yeah, so there's accents. <laughs> um, I am a singer, so I do a lot of musical work. Um, I have a YouTube channel. Still very new. I've only got two videos up, so you can check it out. Tell me what you think. I'm hoping to, to do more soon. I'm working on some new stuff. Uh, I'm also on Instagram and I am on Facebook. All the details for that will be at the end of the video, so keep an ear out. And then uh, other hidden talents, I'm a really great sportsman. Uh, I play anything with a, with, 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 with a ball, a soccer ball, a rugby ball, a cricket ball, a tennis ball, a basketball, a hockey ball. Um, I can play sports really really well which is something that people really don't understand i don't think i don't think they get that when i say i'm a great sportsman they think oh yeah he just plays football yeah i play football more often than i do anything else but i do <laughs> i do play sports very well um hidden talents i can draw i'm not a fantastic artist but i can draw i know a guy that can draw though He's, he's, yo, you should see some of his stuff. Like if you follow me on Facebook, you'll probably see that stuff there. Um, I'm a great speaker. I talk a lot. I can talk for hours. I'm good at talking, but I'm also good at um, playing characters. I think that's one of my hidden talents that people take for granted or haven't really discovered about me. I can play characters. Um, so yeah, question number five. How do you keep yourself occupied while waiting on set? How I keep myself occupied is basically what I would do if I wasn't on set. I listen to music, I read a book, uh, chat to some people on set, you know, make friends with some of the extras. You can't really talk to the mains or the actual cast. Um, most times they're getting into character, trying to remember lines. So it is a bit difficult to, you know, get to know them. They are sometimes a little bit more occupied. It's, it's happened with me. I've had to be more occupied with learning lines and, and running over my script a couple times instead of spending time with some of the friends I'd already made on previous sets. Um, so yeah, just a typical day on set. I listen to a lot of music. Sometimes I write my own music while I'm sitting there. Um, I read books and yeah, I just have general conversation and, and talk to people that are there on set with me. Um, yeah, so those are my five questions. Um, like I said, drop some comments down in the section below. If you guys have any comments, we'll, we'll answer them as best we can. Um, I have two questions for Funky Lemon though. Uh, firstly, um, if the lockdown ends on the 16th of April, when do you guys open your doors? Um, cause that's, that's a very important question. I need to come to a profile update. Um, cause I cut my hair again and you guys are going to be very angry with me, but I did. <laughs> so there's that. And secondly, in terms of, of choosing artists for certain productions, and I, I personally, I know the answer to this, but um, I think 
what's really important for, for people to know is how does that process work? How do you guys as a team go through selecting people to, to get put through for choices to a production team? And then what happens after you've sent through the options that you guys have for, for artists going through to production teams? Other than that, man, check out Funky Lemon on Facebook, Funky Lemon Casting Agency. Check out Funky Lemon on Instagram, Funky Lemon Casting Agency. Um, Google them. Sign up. Get on board. Do the things, man. And uh, check me out, man. Check out some of my music, some of my stuff. You might like my Instagram channel, at the Travis Storm Davis. That's at T-H-E-T-R-A-V-I-S-S-T-O-R-M-D-A-V-I-S. Uh, it's the same name, Travis Storm Davis, for Facebook and for YouTube. I don't post as consistently as everybody else because I'm always doing lots of things, Brie. I'm always busy. And um, that's probably bad, but um, I hope you like what you see there. And I hope that you guys enjoy that. Other than that, fucking subscribe, bro. Follow us, do the things. And uh, we hope to see you at Funky Lemon soon. Peace.